Though Mike Dana got his start in journalism, his job at the Farm Bureau brought him close to those who feed us, clothe us, and provide us with shelter. Kristen Oaks shows us the connection that grew between Mike and Louisiana's farmers and ranchers. Mike Dana was more than just the voice of Louisiana agriculture, he was also a friend of the farmer. Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation Second Vice President Scott Wiggers saw that friendship firsthand. Mike just had that trust factor. And as a farmer who is not very talented in speaking, we're not real eloquent all the time, he, he cultivated a trust in us that we knew that we could trust Mike and he would not let us look bad on, on camera. So, uh, but over the years, it evolved from that and we became really close friends. And, it's hard to explain, Mike's just that kind of a guy that you want to be a friend of. Franklin Parish farmer Adam Falk agrees and says Mike was someone he looked up to as a role model in Farm Bureau. You know, whenever I, I think of the Farm Bureau, Mike's face pops in my head, you know, because, you, you know, to me, he is Farm Bureau. It would be hard to replace. Mike not only fostered friendships with farmers across the state, but he also taught them how to better do their jobs. Mike was such an advocate. You know, I thought that what I did with growing a crop was the important thing that I did, and it was, it is. But Mike taught us that telling our story was very important as well, to get out and tell the story of agriculture so that others who were not part of the 2% could understand what we do in agriculture. So his fervor, his uh, advocacy for agriculture was, uh, was contagious to us, and uh, if, to me especially. Mike also passed his passion for agriculture on to other members of the media, like his former co-worker at the Monroe News Star, Greg Kilburn. So now I do cover uh, ag proudly and happily, and uh, have been recognized by you and Mike as the um, you know, leading agriculture newspaper in the state on many, many occasions. And we take great pride in that, and Mike took great pride in it, and, and absolutely, uh, I would not have been covering agriculture the way I do had it not been for Mike. Louisiana Radio Network Farm Director Don Molino says that Mike also inspired him to share the story of agriculture. Agriculture is what holds this plan together, holds the world together. And if we don't figure out some way to feed all these new people coming along, we're going to make the world hurt. And that's something that Mike Dan has preached as long as I've known him. And he taught me how to preach that. He taught me just how important it is. He showed me how important it is. And I believe him. And I've tried to pass that message on every chance I get. If you ate today, thank a farmer. That's it in a nutshell. That's what Mike Dan has taught me. Field Services Director Kerry Martin started his career at Louisiana Farm Bureau in 1990, and as an intern in the Public Relations Department, he formed a close relationship with Mike. It didn't matter whether you were a farmer or a porter or whoever, you just kind of liked Mike when you meet him. You know, he had the personality that, that made you feel comfortable with him. And you couple that with the fact that he had a real passion in his heart for agriculture and for farmers. And so when you put those two things together, um, you know, it, it made for a great relationship with every farmer that he met. I doubt that there are any farmers that Mike ever came across that, uh, that didn't like him and that didn't believe in his sincerity. In, they didn't you know, believe in that passion that he had. I think I can speak for all farmers. It was an honor to have Mike on our farm come out and to do stores on our farm. It was an honor to be a friend. Mike had heard that uh, we had adopted two girls. And he said, he called me. He said, this year, you're coming to a convention and you bring them. I want to see them. No questions asked. I said, okay, Mike. Because I, I didn't always go to the convention unless I had a real, you know, reporting role down there. So uh, we did, and Mike and the staff, when we went to our hotel room, he had toys laid out for both of them, all over the beds. And, uh, you know, 
That's the kind of person he was. He always thought of others.